what is angular acceleration and how can we calculate angular acceleration before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and you will get access to highly paid lectures for free to understand the concept of angular acceleration you must learn the concept of uniform angular velocity and non uniform angular velocity now let consider a clock here i will discuss the angular motion of minute hand of a clock we know that the minute hand of a clock completes one revolution in one hour or you can say that the minute hand of a clock completes one revolution in 60 minutes or in 3600 seconds it means that the minute hand of a clock covers equal angular displacement an equal interval of time every time or in every hour while in physics when a body covers equal angular displacement in equal interval of time we can say that the body is rotating with uniform angular velocity even in practical life we observe that the minute hand and the seconds hand of a clock rotate with constant or uniform angular velocity thus the minute hand of a clock possesses uniform angular velocity or it rotates with uniform angular speed now let consider a ferris wheel let initially the ferris wheel is at rest hence its initial angular velocity omega i or its initial angular speed speed is zero now after some times the ferris wheel starts rotating and slowly speeds up its rotation let consider that the angular velocity or the angular speed of the ferris wheel reaches to omega f our final angular velocity let it is equal to 10 radian per second thus here the angular velocity of ferris wheel is not uniform because its angular velocity changed from 0 radian per second to 10 radian per second or one can say that ferris wheel possesses non uniform angular velocity now if you understand these two cases then i congratulate you because you can easily now understand the concept of angular acceleration as we learn that the minute hand of a clock rotates with constant or uniform angular velocity here the angular velocity of the minute hand is not changing with the passage of time or one can say that the angular speed of the minute hand is not changing with the passage of time or you can say that the change in angular velocity of a minute hand is zero then here the angular acceleration of a minute hand of a clock is zero or this minute hand of a clock doesn't possess angular acceleration because the angular velocity or the angular speed of the minute hand of a clock is not changing or it is moving with uniform angular velocity therefore remember that if a body rotates with uniform angular velocity its angular acceleration will always be zero now here in this case we learned that the angular velocity of the ferris wheel changed from 0 radian per second to 10 radian per second with the passage of time hence ferris wheel rotates with non uniform angular velocity the ferris wheel possesses angular acceleration because its angular velocity changes with the passage of time or it rotates with non uniform angular velocity therefore remember that if a body is rotating with non uniform angular velocity the body must possesses angular acceleration now how can you define angular acceleration you may have learned that angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity but i am teaching you 
a very simple definition. You can say that how much angular velocity or how much angular speed of an object changes every second or per second. This change in angular velocity or angular speed per second is known as a angular acceleration. Hence, the formula of angular acceleration is alpha is equal to change in omega upon change in time. Or alpha is equal to final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity upon time. Remember that angular acceleration is denoted by alpha. The SI unit of angular acceleration is radian per second square. Angular acceleration is neither a scalar quantity nor a vector quantity. But we can say that angular acceleration is a pseudo vector. Our angular acceleration is an axial vector. The direction of angular acceleration depends upon the change in angular velocity and it is always along the axis of rotation. Now, how can we calculate angular acceleration of an object? Let's consider a bike. Now, here I am interested to find the angular acceleration of wheel of this bike. Let initially the bike is at rest at point P. Thus, the wheel is not rotating. So, the initial angular velocity of the wheel, omega i, is equal to 0 radian per second. Now, the bike starts moving. Let at point Q, we noted that the angular velocity of the wheel of the bike is uh, omega f is equal to 50 radian per second. Now, the bike takes 10 seconds to move from the point P to the point Q. So, one can say that the angular velocity of the wheel of the bike changed from 0 radian per second to 50 radian per second in 10 seconds. As we learn that when angular velocity or angular speed of an object changes, as a result, angular acceleration produces, like in the case of the wheel. So, this wheel of the bike possesses angular acceleration alpha. Now, how much angular acceleration produced in the wheel of a bike? We know that angular acceleration alpha is equal to change in omega upon change in time. Our angular acceleration is equal to final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity upon time. The final angular velocity is 50 radian per second and initial angular velocity is 0 radian per second upon change in time that is 10 second. As a result, we get angular acceleration is equal to 5 radian per second square. Hence, the angular acceleration of the wheel of the bike is 5 radian per second square. At last, let me ask you a question. If someone asks you that what is meant by angular acceleration, 5 radian per second square of the wheel. Then the answer is that, then the answer is that every second, the angular velocity of the wheel is changing at a rate of 5 radian per second. That's why the angular velocity of the wheel reached up to 50 radian per second and 10 seconds. I hope that you have learned the concept of angular acceleration.